Well, it sounds too good to be true, losing 12 kilograms in just 24 hours, but it's actually death-defying. Quite literally. Yeah. A British sports scientist literally put his body on the line to highlight the misconceptions surrounding our weight and why you shouldn't step on the scales. Yeah, well, joining us now is Corey Baird, Les Mills trainer and nutrition extraordinaire. Corey, this is a fascinating thing this, this, this British uh, sports um, uh, guru has done. Because basically, <coughs> he did everything he possibly could to lose weight by losing fluid, you know, sweatsuits, saunas, diuretics. It just sounds so bad for you. Uh, definitely, yeah. Because, I mean, as soon as you become that dehydrated, your brain's not going to function effectively, your heart's going to work harder. It's dangerous. But he raised a very good point, you know. Body weight shouldn't be the accurate message or the accurate uh, method of judging your fat loss. No, definitely not. Because when you jump on the scales, it can be determined by how much food you've eaten that day, the time of the day, how hydrated you are. So it really doesn't tell you a lot. So, for example, with me, if a client coming in and saying, I've cut calories, I'm two kgs lighter on the scales, and then I do a body fat test on them and they've lost two kgs of lean muscle mass and they've put on body fat. So the scales really hasn't told them much at all. This might be looking at it the wrong way, but does his test show you that if you want to look really good for a night out, just don't drink all day? <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, you might go out for your night out and collapse in the middle of the floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so not, not safe. <laughs> it's a big mindset, though. To, oh, sorry, big mind change, isn't it? To tell people who are wanting to lose a wee bit of weight just to ditch the scales. Yeah, exactly, because scales don't tell you a lot. There's, there's lots of better ways to go about finding out whether you're losing weight and doing it effectively. So should you just be um, relying on those awful uh, fat calipers that you get pinched with at the gym and, and the measurement? Uh, calipers is one way of doing it but once, once again there's a little bit of error in that but it gives you an idea so you want at the same time of the day the same person to do it um, and you want to make sure you've eaten the same amount of food and you're hydrated beforehand or you can go for a, like a waist circumference measurement which gives you an idea as well. The bottom line, though, is compared to the before and after, surely, because you know the fat caliper thing. So often we see, well, different types of body. Uh, yep. You know, you'll find top athletes. I think one of Britain's great Olympians was fat because of what these uh, calipers told her. Yet she right. was the world's top athlete. So it's about comparing the before and after, is it not? Definitely, yeah. yeah. So you want to see that if you've improved your nutrition, you're getting results by losing body fat. So if they were if they were measured fat or were they a little bit fatter beforehand and then they've dropped body fat and now they're better. Rodan and I have a very important personal question and I'm sure there are other people who feel the same way. Uh, we're about a month, five, six weeks out from Christmas. Is it too late? Is it too late to get in shape? No, not at all. What you've got to look at is no matter how you want to lose weight, it's really about reducing calories but you've got to be thinking about the carbohydrates, proteins and fats you put in to reduce those calories. So for me, the suggestions I give most of my clients is to eat higher protein, lower carbohydrate. And that way you can do it quite safely because the fact is you can maintain your lean muscle mass but drop body fat. And stay away from the canapes at the Christmas party. Yeah. Do, 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 do you get a rush of, of losers like us who come to you about <laughs> six weeks out from Christmas saying, right, I've had a good year, now yeah. work your magic? Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. And you can? Yeah, you can, yeah. I, I and a whole bunch of people who come in in January as well in, with a New Year resolution. That's how gyms make their money, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, but the bottom line, I mean, the reason why we wanted to talk to you was about this extraordinary experiment that this guy did. I mean, he, we have to point out, monitored himself and was being monitored very, very carefully because you were talking about the dehydration thing, you know, uh, stopping drinking, getting rid of your fluids. I mean, as you say, it can kill your brain. Yeah. It can, it can kill you. Um, so as soon as he'd lost that last bit of weight, he was chugging back sort of um, iron vitamin drinks and that sort of thing by the litre load yeah. um, just to get his body back on, on the level. But, uh, so basically don't try this at home. This was about saying um, divorce yourself from the scales. Yeah. Yeah. Because what he did is something that some fighters might do to get down to weight and then they're monitored by doctors to get their weight back up again and they're monitored throughout that whole process. It's not safe and it's not healthy in any way. And as he said, he'd put the weight back on two hours later. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Thank you, Corey. Right, there you go. Six weeks to go. There's still time. <laughs>